Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today I'll be talking about our visit to Chiricahua National Monument that we took on Christmas Day. Chiricahua National Monument is located in southeast Arizona, about 30 miles away from Wilcox and 120 miles away from Tucson. To get to the monument, you'll need to drive four miles east from the 181 and 186 junction. It's important to make sure that you have enough gas because the closest gas station is located in Wilcox or Sunny Zona. We took the Bonita Canyon Scenic Drive almost all the way to the top. It's an eight mile drive to Masai Point where you'll get 360 views. If you'd rather hike, there are 17 miles of trails in the monument. Unfortunately, vehicles that are over 24 feet are prohibited from making the scenic drive. On our drive, we saw a white-tailed deer and a hawk. We were hoping to see Cotamundis since it's super rare to see them in North America, but unfortunately we didn't spot any during our time there. Other commonly seen animals in the monument are javelinas, rabbits, skunks, foxes, bats, snakes, lizards, and turtles. Chiricahua is completely free to enter and is open every day of the year 24-7. There is one campsite located on the monument, Bonita Canyon, and that costs $20 per night. Reservations are required and you can make them at recreation.gov. Keep in mind that vehicle length cannot exceed 29 feet. Dogs are allowed on campgrounds but are prohibited on some hikes, so make sure that you do your research before deciding whether or not to bring your furry friend. Here we are. As you can see, there's snow on the ground, but we're here at Echo Canyon Trail in Chiricahua National Monument. Um, I'm really excited to be here. We're here with Dylan and Dylan's dad and brother. We're gonna be hiking. It's Christmas Day. We decided to do the Echo Canyon Loop Trail, which was a moderately challenging four mile hike round trip. There was an elevation gain of almost 600 feet and it took us about two and a half hours to complete because there were so many photo opportunities, we kept taking short stops. On this route, we were able to walk through rock spires, desert landscapes, and pine trees. It was pretty snowy at some points on the trail and I would definitely recommend bringing hiking poles if you're visiting during the winter to offer some stability. I will add that there was a restroom available at the beginning of the trailhead, which I appreciated very much. There is one visitor center located about two miles in and it is information on the site's history and geology. It's open 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. every day of the year, excluding Christmas and Thanksgiving Day. So unfortunately, we weren't able to check it out because we went on one of the two days of the years that it was closed. The Visitor Center also offers free shuttles to Echo Canyon and Maasai Point trailheads during the months of September through May. As a fun fact, there has been talk in the past few months of actually adding Chiricahua as Arizona's fourth national park. Chiricahua Mountains has a range of elevation from 5,000 feet to almost 7,000 feet at the peak. Keep this in mind before you visit because the temperature at the base of the mountain can be drastically different from the temperature at the top. We went in December, but it was about high 60s and it was pretty sunny, but the snow and the shade made it cold at times. The amazing balanced rocks that you see are from a volcanic eruption that happened 27 million years ago. A volcano just south of the monument erupted and spewed out ash that eventually landed and created hardened volcanic rock. As time went on, wind eroded the rock, creating spires and pinnacles made out of rhyolite. The Chiricahua Mountains are 20 miles wide and 40 miles long on an inactive volcanic range. Now I'll stop talking and let you enjoy the views.
We found it to be such a fascinating trail to hike because it felt like a mixture between desert and forest biomes. We were surrounded by pine trees at some points and agave and cactuses on others. Bouncing rocks guided us the whole way, making this monument vastly unique to anywhere else I've ever explored. Our trip was short-lived, but well worth it. We definitely want to come back to camp and check out some other trails in the monument. Now that you've learned a bit about Chiricahua National Monument, I hope that you take the chance to explore it yourself. We finished the hike four miles down. It was beautiful. Some great views. Oh my gosh, honestly, it was one of the most beautiful hikes I've been on. I'd probably say that about every hike. But... <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen anything like these rock formations. It was really cool. Yeah. Heading back now. If there was anything you felt like I didn't cover on this video that you'd like to learn, please feel free to drop a comment below. If you enjoyed this content, like and subscribe to our channel. See you guys next time!